My name is Rashawn Carraway, and um, I'm an interior designer. Um, a lot of people probably know me by my blog name, which is Mr. Goodwill Hunting. Uh, Mr. Goodwill Hunting actually came about really for my love of thrift store shopping, uh, for my wardrobe, and, and for my home. I, I definitely am a person that believes that uh, encouragement can come um, in all different forms. The economy that we're living in now um, it's full of trouble and it's full of turmoil. And people are finding themselves more and more at home. And part of my job as an interior designer is really to bring hope and happiness to a space. So my business is helping people understand that they can have a beautiful space and a beautiful life without spending a lot of money. My business is built upon the fact that it's, it's a show and tell kind of thing. I show my fans and my followers and my supporters, hey, here is a couch. Here is a chair that I paid $10 for. And this is what I did to the chair. And look at it now. And, and I think people enjoy my business and I enjoy my business because it is a business that helps put people to work in their own communities, it helps put people to work in their own homes, it gives people that sense of empowerment that I did this. And I think if you can give someone uh, the sense of empowerment to say, um, this is something that I did, it, it's a lot better than them just going out and picking up a sofa, picking up a chair, picking up a painting. Um, one of the biggest challenges that my family has faced is you know, something that, that I did. Um, it was not intentional. In middle school, my brother and me were at home and uh, decided to cook him lunch. So um, I went in, turned the stove on, put some vegetable oil on the stove to cook some french fries. We want to have hot dog and french fries that afternoon. I went into my bedroom and I was on the telephone trying to uh, get some stuff together for the presentation and um, heard this crackling noise and I said, hmm, that rain is really coming down hard outside. And I looked out the window, but there was no rain. And I said, hmm, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, so I ignored it for about two seconds. And then I went outside of the door and I looked into the kitchen. And the entire kitchen was engulfed in flames. The bottom honestly fell out of my heart. I did not know what to do. Uh, I grabbed my brother, uh, ran to my neighbor's house, and we called 911. One of the things that I would love to do with the one million dollars would be to buy my family um, a house, at least my mom and dad. But I, I, I think making sure that my family is well taken care of would make the most of that. Because if your family is taken care of, then you know that you can now proceed to do better in your business. Because the worst thing is to have trouble in the home and you're trying to run a business. I definitely think that this would be the lifeline that I need for my business. I'll be able to do so many videos for people to see what they can do. Uh, you know, I would love to do ambush makeovers for people who are deserving, uh, adding beauty to people's home. And I, and I believe this $1 million can do that. I believe this $1 million can do that. There's so many doors that this money uh, will open for me. And, uh, and, and I think that's the best thing, is to, is to have somebody that believes in you. And, and I'm hoping that all of you are watching, hope you believe in me, and I hope you are willing to, to allow me to go to that next level to say, you know what, that young man, he needs a million dollars. He needs a million dollars because you know what, he's in the same boat that we're in. And if we can help anybody, you know, let's help somebody who's like us. Listen, I'm not rich. I'm not wealthy. You know, I have bills just like everybody else. You know, I sit there at my table with all my bills laid out, trying to figure out which ones are going to be paid. You know, that's where I am now. I would love to not be able to worry about those kinds of things anymore and be able to inspire people on so many different levels. That's one of the principles of my design business is being able to bring beauty in at all price point, at all cost levels. And so um, I think the home is definitely... Uh, the place where you can relax and the place where you can enjoy uh, being who you are and not try to uh, imagine yourself anywhere else. Because at the end of the day, home is where the heart is.